get to this welterweight bout between George St. Pierre and Bruce Lee. Ah, yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. is the UFC middleweight champion, George St. Pierre, after his 12th consecutive win in November of 2013. GSP walked away from the game, returned with flying colors three and a half years later in 2017, only to become a two-division UFC champion. George St. Pierre is back and seemingly better than ever, Joe. George St. Pierre literally has no weaknesses. He has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, outstanding striking, and some of the best takedowns in mixed martial arts. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. George St. Pierre is five years the elder. He is four inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkaway Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC Walkerweight Champion, George St. Pierre. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's all right, we are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. All right, here he is. The oh! 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 He hurt him! Oh, him. he might be out. Oh, nice punch there by GSP. Goes 
upstairs for an elbow. That is it! And here's the end of the fight. Let's take a look at that again. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata's called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St. All right, so George Rush St. Pierre getting back to what he does best here tonight. Another dominant outing in a career full of them, and all coming in the biggest of situations. Even when his opponents seemingly think they know what's coming, few men have been able to stop GSP, and that was once again the case here tonight.